Good evening, baseball fans. Mark Torgerson here bringing you the Morris area live stream. Tiger baseball today, Painesville versus Morris area, Chicago, Alberta. Team's just about set. A little late start here, but a scheduled late start because the Cougars had a game here earlier today and they had to wait for the Cougars to get done. And uh, so it's the Tigers and the Painesville Bulldogs. Painesville coached by Brad Skoglin. Baseball power for many, many years. Brad's uh, been coaching forever at Painesville. He actually retired from teaching, but he's still coaching baseball. And he brings a very solid group of kids here today. And this is their first game I'm talking to Coach Skoglin. So Tigers are on game number four. So welcome to tonight's broadcast on the live stream. And uh, we'll get the lineups and get set for baseball here shortly. Umpire, the two umpires going over the ground rules with Coach Skogel and Coach Kirby Sales, and we'll be set for baseball. Starting lineup for the Painesville Bulldogs today, this are, again, their first game. I talked to Coach Skogel, and he watched both of the games that we uh, had with Montevideo the other day, and the one thing he mentioned is how powerful this section is. He mentioned, besides Morris and... Montevideo, he mentioned New London Spicer is loaded with pitching. Painesville will certainly be one of the favorites. And there's other teams in the section too. So it's going to be one of the better sections in, in the state. And uh, Reed Johnson will lead, uh, lead off and play shortstop, wearing jersey number 10 for the Bulldogs, who are in their green uniforms with the white pants today. Batting second will be Braden Vanderbeek. He'll be playing third base. Isaac Leeser will be the catcher batting third. Bryce Vanderbeek will be the pitcher, and he'll uh, wear jersey 23 today. Josiah Uch will be the right fielder batting fifth, number 21. Esau Nelson will be the first baseman batting um, sixth, and uh, again, he wears jersey number two. Batting seventh will be Braden Pung. He's the second baseman, wears jersey four. Brandon Carlson, number nine, will be the left fielder, batting eighth. And rounding out the uh, Bulldog lineup will be Abe Brunner, and he's the center fielder. No DH for the Brad Skoglin led Painesville Bulldogs. Both teams are going to go out to the respective foul lines. We'll have our national anthem. We'll be set to go over the Tiger lineup and get ready for this Friday evening clash between these two good baseball teams. We'll listen in here to the national anthem here shortly. Welcome to Chiswick Field. Everybody remove your hats and we'll listen to the national anthem. Again, welcome back to Chiswick Field and welcome aboard the live stream on the Morris Area High School website. Mark Targerson here bringing you the 
game between the, and it's a section game, non-conference, but Painesville Bulldogs and the Morris Harris Cowberta Tigers on the hill today for the Tigers is freshman Alex Asmus. Of course, the Tigers in their fourth game of the week and kind of bizarre that this is Painesville's first regular season game. So they're 0-0 and, and no one's uh, had a live at bat on their squad. Tigers in their fourth. Tigers 1-2 and two following their win yesterday over West Central after dropping a, a tough doubleheader to a really good Montevideo team on Tuesday. So uh, defensively for the Tigers, Brewer will be the catcher. Johnny Kleindl at first. Jack Hallman is at second. Riley Asmus at short. Ozzie Jerome at third base. In the outfield, you have... Uh, in right field will be Owen Anderson, and center field is Andrew Marty, and Ashton Hacker is the left fielder. And again, uh, the Tigers use a lot of pitchers on Tuesday, and they're not eligible to pitch tonight. And that uh, also brings into the uh, good update on Drew Hebner, who dislocated his ring finger on his left hand. He'll not be in the lineup tonight, as not also his brother Jonah's also hurt right now and that guy I was in a indoor situation where he had hand injury so both the Hebners are out uh, Drew is going to come back Tuesday and I think he'll be on the hill so we'll uh, have a good one here for fans the wind has gone down considerably I'd say it's in that five to ten mile an hour zone from the west northwest and should have a really nice night it's sunny and about 60 degrees as we start this game at Chiswick Field Leading off for the Bulldogs, again, is Reed John, the shortstop. Dimensions at Chiswick Field, center down the left field line, 363 to the power alley, 350 to straightaway center. It's about 365 towards the scoreboard and 325 down the right field line. From Asmus to Johnson, little low ball one. The 1-0 pitch, down low again, 2-0. Asmus down, 2-0. There's a strike, taking all the way to Reed Johnson. 2-1 and one the count. The wind that is blowing will be blowing. Ball towards second. Over to first for the out. Hallman to Kleindl. Four to three. One out for the Tigers. And Asmus. And this will bring up number two hitter Braden Vanderbeek. He's playing third base. He bats left handed. Wears jersey number 20 for the Bulldogs. One out. Nobody on. Just underway here. Six o'clock start in this one. Asmus shrugs off the signal from Brewer and comes in with a strike. Mixed up a little curveball, caught the outside corner, 0-1. One, one. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That's a fastball strike. So quickly ahead is Asmus, 0-2 on Braden Vanderbeek. The 0-2 pitch, a little pop-up over the shortstop area. Riley Asmus will take a step on the outfield grass and bring it in for out number two, F6. Two down. Coach Scoglin said they lost five senior starters from last year, so they got half their squad back. Always feels a really good team. Here's Isaac Leeser. He's the catcher. I also know that he is a pitcher as well. Pitch in the dirt, ball one. Two down, nobody on, just underway. Top of the first inning here. Tigers in their new black pinstripes with the orange letters that you can't see. There's a swinging foul ball. What the coaches like and what the kids like is a separate issue, but 
Well, Montevideo and Morris had identical black pinstripes on the other day, so it's not just it's not just here. Alex Asmus with the one-one pitch, change up just inside, off speed, two and one. Little open stance for Leeser, and here's the pitch. There's a drive to center field. Marty coming on. He'll have to play it on a hop. Base it. First of the game for Isaac Lees, and that'll bring up the number four hitter, Bryce Vanderbeek, and he's the pitcher today, and he wears jersey 23. It'll be a courtesy runner over at first for the pitcher. See if Coach Skoglin puts him in action here. Brewers throwing out a couple runners this year already. I think the plan by Coach Sales is to have Brewer catch at least a couple times a week, once a week. He'll also play some infield for the Tigers. Man on first, two outs, two out single by Leeser. Pinch runner or courtesy runner at first. Short lead, here's the pitch. Just down a little bit. Bryce Vanderbeek looks like he'd be about a 6-3 pitcher. Now he's hitting cleanup for the Bulldogs. Out of the stretch, Asmus delivers. Fly ball left field. Hacker measuring it. He's got it. Painesville leaves one. No runs on one hit. One left on after a half inning. Painesville nothing. Tigers come. Stay tuned for more on the Morris live stream. Bottom of the first inning, let's see the Painesville defense. Uh, pitching is uh, Bryce Vanderbeek catching Isaac Leeser. At first base is Esau Nelson. At second base, Braden Pung. At uh, third base is Braden Vanderbeek. And at shortstop, Reed Johnson. Left field, Brandon Carlson. Center field, Abe Bruner. And in right is Josiah Uch. And leading off for the Tigers in the bottom of the first, with no score in the game so far, Drew Marty, the Tiger center fielder. On deck will be Riley Asmus, followed by Ozzy Jerome. Leisure getting some warm ups out of the stretch. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good throw. And I know Leisure's also a pitcher, so he's the catcher. So I think you're going to have a good battery combo here for Painesville and their opener. Here's Andrew Marty. Wind's gone down even a little bit more. Vanderbeek with his first pitch. Up high, ball one. Again, the Cougars played. Did you guys catch a score of the Cougar game? They were ahead 10 to 5 in the 6 when I left. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Strike one on a fastball, 1 and 1. It's the fourth game the Cougars have played. They probably have a doubleheader tomorrow. Just down, two and one. Leadoff hitter, Andrew Marty. There's a little foul ball. Just out in front that time, Marty. I don't know if 
Vanderbeek took a little off that, or Marty just got out in front a little bit. He'll move up on the box a little bit and choke up on the bat here on a 2-2 pitch. Spoils that one, fouls it off the left side. Over our heads here. So the live stream is showing you a view. And I'm sitting up here in the superior press box on the third baseline. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball right at the pitcher. He, he uh, gets it in his glove and throws over to first. Ball was hit hard, two hopper right to the pitcher. This will bring up right shortstop. Looks like the Painesville JV is ahead handily up there in their that game's already in the fifth inning, and they started early. Straight fastball to Asmus. Thigh high at the outside corner, 0-1. The pitch, curveball, ooh. Call that a strike. I think Riley thought it was a little high, 0-2 the count. Vanderbeek with the pitch. Ground ball to short, fielded. Throw to first by Johnson. Sharp ground ball, fielded. Two down for the Tigers. This will bring up Ozzie Jerome. Leeser tried to sneak a fastball by him. Riley right on that, but uh, hit it right to Johnson's glove and field it clean and threw to first. Two outs in the bottom of the first. No score in the game. Here's Ozzy Jerome was really got off to a good start. Up high, ball one. The one oh pitch down low, two and oh. The 2 two zero delivery is up high, 3 and 0. So, it is Vanderbeek on Ozzy Jerome, the third baseman, hitter number three, bats left handed for the Tigers. Just a sophomore. The 3 0 pitch, that's ball four. So, four pitch walk puts the on base. It'll bring up Brewer, the catcher. Caleb had the shin guards on, so he'll take those off and come up to the plate. Two outs, man on first. Number six, Caleb Brewer, right-handed hitting catchers. Letter high fastball, strike one. The 0 1 pitch on the way. Ground ball to the shortstop. Fields throws to second for the short out. Made the play look routine. 6 to 4 on the fielder's through one. No score. Tigers leave one.
Waiting for Caleb Brewer here as we get set for the top of the second. No score. Both teams had a base runner. Painsville had a two-out single. Tigers had a two-out walk. No damage done. Go to the bottom or top of the second. And batting number fifth and leading off this inning is Josiah Uch. He'll be followed by Esau Nelson and then Braden Pung. Inning number two for the freshman right-hander, Alex Asmus. JV game is over. Looks like Painesville won that game. Ball low. The 1 0 pitch from Asmus. Swing and a miss over the top of that was Ooch. 1 and 1. Again, Painesville's first game of the year. Tigers in their fourth. Freshman right-hander throws, curveball into left field between third and short for a leadoff single. Ball hung just a little bit on Alex and the hitter got on top of it and sharply hit ball between Jerome and Riley Asmus, leadoff single here for Painesville. And Bragg Skoglin's a fundamental coach, so might you'll see some old-fashioned baseball here now and then. Pitch down low. Esau Nelson, the first baseman, wears jersey number two for the throw to first. Back safely is the runner. Ooch. Really a nice night for baseball. Temperature in the upper 50s with very little wind. The 1 0 pitch. Runner going, beautiful hit and run pitch. In the ball into right field and all the way to third will be the uh, close play at first. Good pump fake. So a hit and run was on and like I mentioned old school baseball. And all of a sudden Painesville with a threat here, first and third, no outs. So a pair of singles, ground ball singles. Really good job by um, Nelson of hitting behind the runner, and with the runner going, he easily made it to third. Riley Asmus faked the throw to third and tried to get the runner going back to first, but he dove back in, head first safe. Tigers will play the infield back. Ball one. Corners are even. Up the middle, Asmus and Jackson Hallman looking for a double play ball, perhaps. It's just in the second inning. Already three hits now for Painesville. Pop up foul. So one and one. I think the Tiger freshman will be playing Painesville's freshman up on the Rambo field here shortly. They'll get ready to go. One and one count. First and third, no outs for the Painesville threatening here in the second. Fake to third, throw to uh, fake throw back to first. Legal in high school. Painesville did not bite it for it. So one on one count. Batting is Pung. There's a fly ball to center field. Marty will catch it. They're going to tag, and the throw will be up the line, and that will be a sacrifice fly. Brewer does a nice, nice job of. Uh, they're going to check to see if he left early. So F8 for now brings in a run, and they're going to say he, he tagged legally. So sacrifice fly. And a one nothing Painesville lead. One out man on first. Nice running catch by Marty. Perfect throw probably gets him, but the throw came a good 20 feet up the line. Brewer did a nice job of going to get it so that it didn't allow the runner to go to second. Curveball, swing and a miss to Carlson. Brandon Carlson, the left fielder. Batting eighth in the lineup. 
One in for Painesville, one on, one out. The 0 1 pitch coming from Asmus. Just low, one and one. Alex pitched last year late in the year as an eighth grader on the varsity, and I know he had a complete game shutout in one of his early just throw strikes. Foul ball straight back, one and two. Control pitcher, throw strikes. Alex also was a varsity basketball player as a freshman, sixth man for the Tigers, had a 20-win season, got beat in the section finals. The one-two pitch from Asmus, just missed. Umpire had a little flinch there, he might want to, but it was a little low and away. So 2-2 two -two with one out. Man on first, Nelson. The 2-2 two -two pitch, up high, full count now. Just one out, we'll see if Coach Skoglin puts the runner in motion here. The 3-2 pitch, fouled straight back, we'll do it again. Much more comfortable watching here tonight because the wind is down. Three and two, one out, the pitch just missed. So earning the walk is Carlson. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Abe Brunner. So another mild threat here is Painesville's plated one, first and second, one out, number nine hitter up. Pitch, pop up, right side, it's trouble. And foul ball off the glove of, and I gotta check, that's Owen Anderson's and left, so that was Ashton Hacker. I think, yeah, other games, just a foul ball by the way. It was foul ball, but uh, Owen's in left, and I think that's Ashton Hacker out there, yep. He came a long ways and it went off his glove. Not an error or anything, just a tough play. So 0-1, and I think uh, coaches want Hacker to move in towards the line a little more. High strike, one and two. 0 oh and two, excuse me. On deck is a leadoff hitter, Reed Johnson. Painsel with one in. Two on, one out. Asmus up 0-2. The 0-2 pitch, fouled straight back. Johnny Kleindel is just checking the runner from behind. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. Got him on a curveball, swinging strikeout. First strikeout for Asmus, get back to the top of the order. Still a two out threat here, first and second, two outs. Reed Johnson had a four to three out here in the first inning, up here in the top of the second. And the pitch, pop up, fouled out of play to the right. So Asmus up, 0-1. Outfielders straight away out in the outfield. The 0-1 pitch, just off the plate, 1-1. One one. Lost speed pitch, didn't quite catch the corner.
One one pitch. Another curveball that one missed. Two and one now. Reed Johnson, the shortstop. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to short. Fielded by Asmus. He'll throw out to first. Six to three. And that retires the side. One run for Painesville. They leave two. There's a pair of hits in the inning. After one and a half, it's Painesville one. The Tigers nothing. Stay tuned for more on the Morris live stream. Says if I have the door open, it comes in really good. We're much better at eating. Bryce Vanderbeek out there for his second inning of work. Painesville puts up one. A pair of hits. Tigers will bat five, six, seven here. Owen Anderson playing left field tonight, followed by the pitcher Alex Aspis, and then first baseman Johnny Klein will do up. Following that will be the designated hitter Landon Gibson. Three ground ball outs for Vanderbeek in inning number one. There's a line drive foul. Anderson just a little behind that one. Laced it foul over the screen on the first base side towards the uh, south softball field here on the Eagles complex. Another foul ball that's going to go out of play. So Vanderbeek up 0-2 on Owen. Eagles Park, as it's called, in Morris, houses Chiswick Field, Rambo Field, and then the two softball fields, which now with Holmberg Field and the complex out at UMM, mainly gets used for um, men's slow pitch softball and then a lot of youth baseball. They play Little League as well as their 12 and 13 year old games on tournament days. Inside on Owen, kind of a purpose pitch to back Owen up off the plate. One and two, the count. Lead off hitter for the Tigers in the second, trailing one nothing. Little ground ball off the foot of Anderson. I don't know if Owen, if I wouldn't have hit his foot and he would have had a good start, that would have been the best swinging bunt we've seen. Just popped off his left foot foul. So one two rem remaining the count uh, here. The Tiger senior outfielder shaking off Vanderbeek. See what he comes here on one and two. Pitch a high and away, two and two. Good at bat here for Owen. The two two pitch. Fly ball to short center field. Center fielder comes and gets it for out number one. Just off the end of the bat a little bit, so center fielder, running catch, one out. Alex Asmus, the pitcher, batting number six for the Tigers. Vanderbeek's pitch, knee-high fastball. Might have been a little below the knee. Umpire's establishing a little bigger strike zone which I think is fine. Pitch up, one and one. 
Ninth graders underway. I think it's the ninth grade. It could be the JV and the ninth graders maybe already played. I think it's the ninth grade playing now. Swing and a miss on a low outside fastball. So Vanderbeek's up oh and, or one and two on Asmus. Bryce Vanderbeek. With the pitch. Called strike three on the corner. Two down, Johnny Kleindel up. That Chiswick Field in the summer, when it gets to be June, the sun is more in the batter's eye. It's a little more on the side, but it's still a little factor. Pitch up high, ball one. Kind of comes right down the left field foul line to the batter right now. There's a fastball strike, one and one. Two outs, nobody on. Painso with a one nothing lead here in the bottom of the second. Tigers still looking for their first hit. They did have a base runner, and that was Ozzie Drome who walked on four pitches. Oh, curveball completely fools Johnny. We'll see if he comes back with a fastball. The one-two pitch. Foul tip into the mitt. It'll be strike three, a pair of strikeouts in the second. Nothing across for the Tigers. One, two, three. After two complete, Payne's a one. The Tigers, nothing. Top of the third, Mark Torgerson here on the Morris live stream. Painesville sends up two, three, four. Ground ball up the middle. Asmus with a beautiful play. Right behind second, gloved it, had to stretch. Got a perfect throw over to Kleindel. One pitch, one out, six to three. So, Braden Vanderbeek, the third baseman, now popped up to short, and now he's grounded to short. This will bring up the catcher, Isaac Leeser. Open stance for Leeser, who singled with two outs in the first and was stranded. Good off-speed pitch, strike one. Not sure if uh, signals are coming from the dugout. Some coaches do, some don't. Brewer calls a good game, 0-1. There's another strike. Leisure fooled, by, Leisure fooled by that pitch. Quickly up on the number three hitter, the catcher. Aspis is ahead of Leisure, 0-2. Just off the corner, good spot for that one. Good waste pitch for Alex. Concession stand open, good crowd on hand. Friday night baseball. Line drive, base hit. Alex took something off that. Leisure's kept the hands back and swats it into left field for his second hit. So a one out single, the fourth hit for Painesville. Courtesy runner back in there. Mm -hmm. 
think when a pitcher throws a change up like that, they want to get it down below the knees. They just hung up there and with his hands back, line that thing into left field. It's a good clean. There's a pop-up foul out of play. Pitcher Bryce Vanderbeek batting. He f flew out to left field to end the first. Curtis Urani, you got to believe, has some wheels, so we'll see if he's on the go here. Aspis chases him back. As a pitcher, you can you don't necessarily have to throw to first a lot. You just got to have different uh, pauses and rhythm to the home plate so the runner doesn't get an idea. Here's the pitch outside, one and one. Also have a slide step that you can use, and Alex did on that pitch. Cougars had a game here today, and I think they have a doubleheader tomorrow. Runner going, Brewer up with the throw, and the ball bounces into center field. If an accurate throw probably gets him, but uh, Riley coming across, rubbing his ankle a little bit, not sure if he ran into something. Stolen base, puts a runner in scoring position, two on count on the hitter, Vanderbeek, the pitcher. Trying to help his own cause. There's a foul ball back on an off-speed pitch. Two and two the count. Count two and two, one out, man on second. Paints over the one nothing lead here in the third. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Ooh, just missed the inside corner. Three and two. Full count here. Here's the pitch. Strike three, called third strike. That's a good pitch. Called third strike, look right on the knees at the corner. So two outs, big strikeout for his second. And this will bring up Josiah Uch, the right fielder who singled and scored the lone Painesville run back in the second. The pitch. Ooh. I think I heard the ump say hi. But one out. Way out in front of that off speed pitch. Runner got a big secondary lead and courtesy runner is Owen Brick. Finally got his number. One one count with two outs. Man in scoring position for the Bulldogs who have a one nothing lead. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Ahead on the count is Aspis one and two. See a score up top on Ramble Field, two nothing home team ahead. One and two. Alex taking a look at the runner, and I'll throw his home, and he beamed him. Well, sometimes you'd think that maybe he was checking the runner too close, but he'd been doing that most of the at-bat, so it just got away from him. So two on, two out, and this will bring up Esau Nelson, who had a perfect hit and run single into right field with the runner going that put runners on first and third and eventually helped score a run for the Bulldogs. There's a strike, throw back. Sliding in safely is the runner. 0-1 count on Nelson. One for one in the ball game. 
Only run scored on a sacrifice fly off the bat of Braden Pung. He's on deck. They got him. Picked off the runner at second. Coach Oakland's going to have a little talk. But so that will negate any more threat. One, uh, one left on base. There was a pair, a walk, a hit and a hit batter in that inning. Painesville after two and a half leads one nothing. Stay tuned for more Tiger baseball on the Morris area live stream. Starting the bottom of the third for the Tigers will be designated hitter Landon Gibson. He's batting for the right fielder Ashton Hacker. 8-9-1 here for the Tigers trailing 1-0. Fastball strike. Vanderbeek uh, did have a four-pitch walk to Jerome. Otherwise, his control's been sharp. And that's called strike on the outer half. So Gibson down 0-2. If I had to guess speed of pitch, I'd say about 80. Just missed, one and two. My pitch was close. Curveball missed away, 2-2 two -two now to Gibson. Gibson who pitched a really solid game. Uh, Here's the pitch, ground ball to short. Fielded by the shortstop, Johnson to first. Got him, 6-3, one out. Brings up Jackson Hallman, the number nine hitter for the Tigers, He's playing second base again tonight. I was gonna mention about Landon, pitched a really good game two after throwing the seventh inning of the Montevideo doubleheader, threw five and one third in the next game and then ran out on the pitch count. Tigers, of course, uh, had a 5 nothing lead, and then it got away, and they lost in 12. Strike one to Hallman. So Vanderbeek using his fastball most of the time here, at least to get ahead. There's ball one and one. The one-one pitch, swing and a miss. Just out in front a little bit was Hallman on that. One-two count, one out here. Bottom of the third and a one-nothing Painesville lead. Fouled back, high fastball, but protecting was Hallman. The one-two pitch, just outside, two-two, good eye by Hallman. The two-two pitch, just in, three and two. String is out here on Hallman with one out.
Foul straight back on the fastball to protect and stay alive. I think we got the young guys up in the live stream booth today. Here's the pitch. Fouls back again. I think we got Mr. Gosman and Mr. Young Seahawk. Seahawk helping out on the live stream, so thanks to those young people. Tiger live stream, very well known for its great coverage of Tiger activities. There's another foul, so that's three consecutive full count fouls. That one was a curveball that Hallman fouled off, so it continues to be three and two with one out here in the bottom of the third. And he's got him with the fastball. Good cut right on it. Hallman couldn't get it. Two outs, nobody on. Back to the top of the order and Andrew Marty. Marty hit a two hopper back to the pitcher to start the ball game for the Tigers in the bottom of the first. So Tigers with just the one base runner. Four pitch walk to Ozzie Jerome and the two outs in the first. It's a foul ball on a curve ball over our heads on the third base side here. Jared Aspis coaching first, Brad Fair also in the dugout. There's a drive to left center. Center fielder camping and he'll catch it. Sung up a little too much, Marty flies out to fairly deep center field, left center field. Three up, three down for the Tigers. After three, it's Painesville one, the Tigers nothing. All right, top of four here. Isa Nelson was up when the Tigers' uh, Asmus picked off the runner at second, so he'll lead off here now, takes ball one. First and second in the last inning, Asmus to Brother Riley for the pickoff of second to erase any more threat by the Painesville Bulldogs. Pitch down low, 2-0. and oh. Asmus in his fourth inning to work. Again, Nelson had his single and his only other at bat that chased the runner from first to third on a hit and run. Painesville got a sacrifice fly to score the only run. And three and on out. Uncommon of Alex to get behind a hitter. See if he can come back here. There's a strike, letter high fastball, three and one. So a little bit of wind blowing in from left center, but down in that five mile an hour range maybe. There's a little chink foul to the right side out of play. So Aspis works back to the full count now. Again, Painesville, this is their first game of the season. Three-two pitch on its way. 
Strike three right there. Third strikeout for Alex. And this will bring up Braden Pong, who has a sacrifice fly to center field and an RBI in his only plate appearance. So officially zero for zero with an RBI. Pitch curveball missed away. One and oh and one and oh, excuse me. One four and oh for Painesville. Zero zero and zero for the Tigers on the scoreboard. Pitch away two and oh. Tigers have a lot of home games. This is their fifth home game. And then next weekend they have a tournament here. There's a ball. I thought that was a strike. It was just a little out, 3-0. and They also have a doubleheader with Minnewaska here on Tuesday, and that'll be a huge one. The Tigers losing that pair to Monia. Those games will be very important. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. So went to three balls and no strikes on both hitters. Came back and got Nelson. See even come back and get Pung. There's a fly ball to center. Marty, good jump on the ball, and he'll catch it for the second out. So Asmus recovers from that 3-0 count, and he has two down. And he'll bring up Brandon Carlson. Brandon worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Fouled off a couple before getting on first base. There's a little pop-up pitcher, Asmus calls it, and he'll catch it. So quick one, two, three inning. We're halfway done. Painesville leads one nothing over the Tigers. Come to the bottom of the four. Stay tuned on the live stream of Morris Area School website. Bottom of the fourth, Riley Asmus. Is uh, Tigers still looking for their first hit? Ball down to the dirt. Sophomore shortstop, Riley Asmus. Pop up infield, second baseman will call this one. Just on the dirt, out number one. Ozzie Jerome, the only base runner for the Tigers through three and a half, three and a third innings. He walked on four pitches. Number three hitter, second baseman. I was just gonna say Riley's in his third year of varsity baseball as a sophomore. Pitch on the outside corner at the knees, called a strike. Ozzy off to a really good start in the hitting department. There's a foul ball, challenge him with a fastball. Fouled over our heads to the left side. Vanderbeek quickly up 0-2. Oh, 
on the sophomore third baseman for the Tigers. Oh, he waved at a curveball. Strikeout, second out, Caleb Brewer. Get a grounder to short there. They forced the runner, Jerome, at second to end the first. He's up here with two outs in the fourth. Tigers still looking for their first hit. Curveball, swing and a miss. For the first game, Vanderbeek really seems to have gotten a nice groove going out here. Painsville's always had good pitchers. Another curve, that one a little lower, still swinging and missing was Brewer. They go shaking off the catcher. Foul ball on the fastball, straight back. Still 0-2 with two outs. Bottom of the fourth inning. Tiger ninth graders up five to one on the top field. Ground ball over the pitcher's head. Second baseman to shortstop. And there's the first hit of the game. Shortstop came and got it, but that one had seeing eye over the top of the mound. It'll be an infield single, first hit for the Tigers. Two out single for Brewer. And now you're gonna have a runner for the catcher. Jace Kleindl, I think. So the Tigers get their first hit, have a two-out base runner, Owen Anderson, who flew out after a lengthy at-bat, flew out to center field in his first plate appearance. Had about three or four two-strike fouls before flying out to center. Ball not carrying tonight, just because the wind is blowing in, it's obviously cooling off as we approach evening here. This game started at six o'clock following a Cougar I think it's Cougar win today. Chasing the runner back is the pitcher. Playing left field today, the senior outfielder takes a strike on a curveball. More curveballs this inning, second time around the order. Coach Sales giving the signal. No leisure has a good arm behind the plate here. There's a line drive. Caught by the right fielder. Had to come and get it. That ball was the hardest hit ball of the day. Lined out to the Right fielder, so the Tigers leave one. After four complete, it's one nothing Painesville.
We go to the fifth. 9-1-2 here for Painesville. Abe Bruner, the hitter. He was a strikeout victim back on the second. Alex Asmus in his fifth inning of work. Swing and a miss on a low fastball. So Owen Anderson, I wouldn't say got robbed, but a nice running catch and a head first dive by the right fielder took a hit away from Owen. There's a curveball up the middle. Can't get it, base hit. Place out perfectly. Seeing I single for Bruner, the number nine hitter on base. Back to the top of the order with Reed Johnson. You know, the Tigers are thin on pitching because this is their fifth game of the week. Um, Jack Kehoe pitched the win over West Central, 10 run rule um, in last night's game. But uh, and of course Drew Hebner's out with a finger injury. Little bunt, Asmus picks it up, gets him at first by a step, sacrifice. It's Brad Skoglin baseball. So one to three on the play, moving to second with the sacrifice bunt is Bruner, number two hitter up, Braden Vanderbeek. In a one nothing game, pitchers throwing strikes. I could have out predicted that Brad was gonna bunt there. So he's got a man on second, left-handed hitter who's popped to short and grounded to short. And a good play by Riley Asmus last time, ball one. Here's the pitch up high, 2-0. and oh. Game about an hour old. We're in the top of the fifth. 1-5 and 0 for Painesville. 0-1 zero, and 0 for the Tigers on the run line up there. Runs, hits, errors. Here's the pitch, strike, fastball. So 2-1 and one the count with one out. To Braden Vanderbeek, the third baseman. Not sure if Bryce and Braden are brothers or just relatives. Here's the pitch. Missed inside, three and one. On deck is Leisure, who's two for two, so obviously Alex would like to get him. The pitch. Right at the second baseman, Hallman. Runner will go to third, Hallman throws to first for the out, runner moves up, but good job by Asmus of getting the hitter. Four to three on the play, two outs and bring up Leisure, who's two for two. Single to center, single to left. With Vanderbeek pitching the way he is, obviously this is a big run for both squads. Here's the pitch. Ground ball towards the first baseman, Kleindl. Flips to Asmus for the out. Off the end of the bat, Kleindl to Asmus, well done. Three to one, and out of the inning is Asmus and the Tigers. After four and a half innings, still one nothing, Painesville.
One nothing Painesville, bottom of the fifth. Alex Asmus, the number six hitter, took a called third strike in his only plate appearance. There's this curveball strike. Vanderbeek has started a lot of these hitters second time around with a breaking ball. It's in his fifth inning of work. He's only allowed two base runners. Pop up infield. Pitcher calls it. And he'll retire Asmus. F1, Johnny Kleindel up, is also a strikeout victim. Four strikeouts through four and a third innings for Vanderbeek, who just gave up an infield single to Brewer with two outs in the last inning. The only hit, he's allowed Ozzie Jerome, the only other base runner, with a four-pitch walk in the first. There's a pitch in the dirt to Johnny First baseman, Johnny Kleindel, made a nice play to retire leisure on that last little squirt ground ball. Out in front of a fastball, one and one. Waved at a curveball, one and two. Bryce Vanderbeek in the motion. Line drive, one hop to the shortstop. Boots it, throws to first, not in time. Hard hit. Probably have to rule out an error. A little short hop. John hit it well, and he's on first base. That's all really that matters for the Tigers who trail one nothing. Landon Gibson, the designated hitter, grounded out to short his last time up. Johnson had a short hop, and he couldn't quite come up with it. Pitch up high, ball one. I think I brought, mentioned this the last broadcast. If you're playing short and you have a little bobble like that, it's usually an error. If that happens to the second baseman, it's still an out, just that shorter throw. But... 1-0 the count with a man on first. Fouled straight back. Good cut that by Gibson. Designated hitter Landon Gibson. The 1-1 pitch from Vanderbeek. Curveball. Called a strike. One and two with one out, man on first. The one two pitch up high, two and two. On deck is Jackson Hallman. Number nine hitter, this is Gibson the eight hitter right now. Two two count. Up high, full count. Tigers down one to nothing. Love to get something going here. The payoff pitch. Ball four. Tigers have a runner in scoring position for the first time today. First and second one out, Jackson Hallman. I think we're going to have a pinch runner for Johnny Kleindel. Jace Kleindel, I think, yeah, 22 is going to pinch run at second base. He was a courtesy runner earlier. Now this officially puts him in the ball game for Johnny. You can do both. It's just once you go in as a pinch runner, then you can't go back as a courtesy runner. So he's locked in. He's right in for Johnny Kleindel now, in the, and Johnny could re-enter. But 
we got Jackson Holman up. After a battle, he got foul tip into the mitt for strike three in his first plate appearance after fouling off several 3-2 pitches. First and second, one out. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Tigers with a threat for the first time. First time they've had a man at second. Here's the pitch up high. Coach Sale said he might have balked there. 1-0. and oh. Watch for the pickoff play here. Coach Sales watching, helping out Klein to let second. Vanderbeek looking over. Here's the pitch home. Up high, 2-0. and oh. This is his first, first ball game, and Coach Skogel is going to come out and talk to his lanky right-hander. 2-0. and oh. Two on, one out. 2-0 count, Jackson Hallman. Like the freshmen are up six to four on the Rambo field in the second or third inning up there. Coach Skogland has visited the mound three visits in any seven inning game for the coaches. They can do it any time. Two oh count, number nine hitter Jackson Hallman at the plate. Tigers trailing one nothing. Out of the stretch and the pitch. Way up high, three and all. It'll be a take sign here for Jackson. Andrew Marty waiting on deck. I think that uh, Painesville did have a man loosening up last inning. Again, it's their first game, and so obviously the first pitching appearance for Bryce Vanderbeek or any Painesville Bulldog. The 3 0 pitch. There's a strike right down the middle, 3 and 1. Now Hallman will be looking for a good pitch to hit here. Just one out, first and second. There's a pop-up. This will be infield fly rule. Well, outfielder calls him off. Drops the ball. Drops the ball. Get back to first. That's our, we're all right. That's our hitter. They didn't. I don't know who got tagged out at second. If it's a batter, we'll, I don't think I think that we might have a double play here because I don't think I heard an infield fly rule called. the The outfielder called off the shortstop. It's just whether or not they call it or not. But you advance at your own risk, and that could be something that's going to hurt the Tigers here because. but you still advance at your own risk, and I don't know how this is going to go because Jackson, yeah, Jackson Hallman was standing at first, and the runner from first actually should have stayed on first. So I'm not sure if the umps got that one right. It's the way it should be. So it'll be a F7, I guess, because this left fielder actually called off the shortstop and then dropped it. But I think on the intent of the rule, but you, the batter is automatically out. But the problem was is our man on first took off, and he was the one that was tagged. So I, I'm not sure. I think we might have got a break there. But still a threat here, but two outs now, first and second for Marty. Pitch up high. So working out of that 3-0, Vanderbeek got an out. 
Now he's an out away from getting out of this little mini jam. Here's the pitch to Marty. Ground ball to short. Feeling it, throwing to first for the out and out of the inning. Two stranded for the Tigers. After five complete, it's one nothing Painesville. Heading into the top of the sixth, kind of an unusual play. Again, um, yeah, Coach Rambo was texting me, and I totally agree. I said the same thing in the, out here on the party deck that uh, Morris got lucky to not have that advance at your own risk because I think we should add a double play there. but. Vanderbeek and the Bulldogs get out of that jam, and they'll send up four, five, six. And this is the pitcher Vanderbeek batting against Asmus. Pitch ball one. The 1 0 pitch. There's a strike. Knee high fastball, one and one. Got to give Alex Asmus a lot of credit. He's. Working in the sixth inning here, Tigers really needed uh, him to step up today in the dirt. Painsville has a man warming up. Actually not using the bullpen, they're over on the side. There's a deep fly to the gap and left center. I don't think that's gonna get caught. Diving stop at the 360 mark and he'll have to settle for a double. Marty dove and he ends up landing on the warning track but the ball popped right on the warning track. Great effort, but that ball was torqued pretty good out there near the 363 sign. Lead off double for the pitcher. Painsville has a man in scoring position here with nobody out. And that'll bring up Josiah Uch. Uch is the has the only run in the game for either team. That's the sixth hit for Painesville, their first extra base hit, leadoff double. Boy, really, Marty just almost chased that one down. So an opportun opportunity here for the Bulldogs to add to their 1-0 lead here in the sixth. Here's the pitch. Pop up or out of play, foul, excuse me. Wasn't a, just a foul straight back. Single and a walk, one for one for Uch. U-T-S-C-H, Uts. Ball outside. Right fielder today, also a nice catch. Take away a hit from Owen Anderson earlier. One on one count. Pitcher Vanderbeek on second. Lead off double. Pitch home. Bunt. This will get the runner. Asmus will throw him out at first. One to three. Sacrifice bunt. Man on third. Nelson, the hitter. 
Had a single his first at bat, struck out, called in his last at bat. Kirby Sales is going to come out and talk to his whole infield. They're obviously going to have to play in here. Probably talk about what to do on a squeeze bunt. As far as where do you pitch it. Cougars with a 13-5 win over Martin Luther. I thought I saw a Redwood uh, bus, so Martin Luther must have traveled up from the south, and they're staying overnight. I think they play a doubleheader tomorrow. So the Cougars um, win 13-5 to here. And they played that game this afternoon. I, generally, they play a nine-inning game on Friday and then a doubleheader Saturday. And so I'm sure Martin Luther stays overnight. And now see a doubleheader here at Chiswick tomorrow. This field's been very active the last two weeks. Tigers up on the grass. Nelson at the plate. One nothing ball game here in the sixth. The pitch, swing and a miss in the dirt. Vanderbeek with a short lead at first or third, but he'll have his forward momentum going home here. Here's the pitch, line drive base hit. No doubt about that one getting by Asmus. Two to nothing, Painesville. Yep. That was a sharply hit ball. The seventh hit for the Bulldogs with one out here in the sixth. Peyton Hemish is the pinch runner for Nelson. So now you have a man on first, one out, and Braden Pung is up. Pung, the second baseman. Now you're going to see bullpen action for Painesville. Wouldn't be surprised if Leisure's going to pitch. He's their catcher, but I think he's maybe, the, if not their number one pitcher, their number two pitcher. Asmus out of the stretch, strike one. Pong looked like he was taking all the way there. Two nothing Painesville here. Tigers with just one hit today. Vanderbeek has been pretty solid through five. Pop up infield. Jackson Hallman, second baseman, camped underneath it. He'll grab it for the second out. Brandon Carlson, the left fielder, up with two outs and a man on first. Pinch runner, again, Peyton Hemish. We'll see if Coach Scoglin puts him in motion here. One stolen base for the Painesville today. The pitch, ball, high and away. Foul ball straight back, Asmus up. Excuse me, evens the count, one and one. Flag is limp. Mr. Rambo will know that. Night baseball. Timeout called. Umpires want to talk. I think he's checking the count maybe, but it is one and one. Maybe that ball hit earlier in this inning would have been caught earlier in the day with the wind blowing in. 
Ball hit in the warning track by the 363 sign. Marty almost got there. Swinging foul back. Brandon Carlson, Painesville, number eight hitter. Foul back. One and two. The pitch, little chinker in front of home. Asmus has time, throws him out. One to three. One run, three hits, excuse me, two hits, one left on. After five and a half innings, it's 2 nothing Painesville. The bottom of the six here for the Tigers, two, three, four, Riley Asmus. Vanderbeek is out there for the sixth. Leisure, I believe the catcher was warming up in the bullpen just in case for Coach Skoglin. Foul ball, slow off-speed pitch. Asmus fouls it over the right side, over the, out in the Chiswick parking lot. Asmus is a grounder to short and popped up to the second baseman. Fastball, one on one. Game about an hour and 25 minutes old. We're in the bottom of the sixth. In the dirt, good eye by Asps. Tigers had their best threat last inning. Had two on with one out and three old count on Hallman, but Vanderbeek came back and got Hallman to pop up. Then he retired Marty on a grounder to short. There's a line drive into the gap. See if Asmus can get two out of this. He's hustling into second. Oh boy, they're gonna call him out. Bang, bang play. Riley hesitated just a second. Good throw from the center fielder, one hop, second baseman slapped it on him, so line drive hit into the gap. And an eight to four put out for the first out. Tough break for the Tigers. You almost have to decide that yourself as a hitter, but um, as he rounded first base, it was going to be a bang-bang play with a good throw, and they got there just in time. 
Ozzy Jerome up with one on, or excuse me, with one out now, nobody on. Second hit for the Tigers. That was a well hit ball. Well, outside curve, one and one, two and one, excuse me. Ozzy struck out last time up, walked on four pitches, his first plate appearance. Letter high fastball, called a strike. Two and two. Okay, the Brewer on deck. Strike three in the dirt. An umpire called him out, but I think the ball was in the dirt. Should have to throw to first base to get that out. And it's not just because he scoops it. If the ball hits the dirt, you still have to put him out at first base. But Two down, nobody on. And I'm a bummer for the Tigers. Letter high fastball to Brewer, strike one. Vanderbeek gave up that loud single and then trying to stretch into double ass, was thrown out at second. Now he's a little foul ball, 0-2, and that hurt Brewer's shoulder a little bit. He's kind of. Something stung. Caleb's going to swing. Come on, swing the bat. Looks like he's okay. Coach Sales is definitely going to talk to him. Still talking to his senior catcher. It's 0 2 count, I believe. Back to the action here. Swinging strike three. Pair of strikeouts in that inning. That's six total for Vanderbeek. After six complete, Painesville two, the Tigers nothing. Stay tuned, stay tuned for more action here on the Morris Area live stream. Coach Sales is going to have Riley Asmus start the seventh here. I think a great move here. Alex Asmus will go from pitcher to catcher, and Caleb Brewer will go out and play shortstop. Defensive changes for the Tigers. We're in the top of the seventh. Well-played baseball game between these two section opponents. As I mentioned earlier in the uh, broadcast, Coach Skoglin said the section is stacked. You got Minnewaska, Morris, Montevideo, Painesville, and he thinks New London will be as good of any as anybody and maybe be the favorite. So that's five out of the eight right there. And not even I would assume I don't know if West Central's in our section or not. Um And of course, if Eden Valley's in our section, then you're really loaded. (laughs) 
Top of the seventh, Paines will, will send up. 9-1-2. Bruner back to Johnson and Vanderbeek. <coughs> Pardon me. Riley Asmus getting the warm-ups. Riley came in relief the other night against Montevideo in the second game and just couldn't find the plate. And so an opportunity for him to get another opportunity to come in and relieve his brother who pitched six really strong innings. Gave up two runs, all both earned only seven hits and obviously pitched well enough to win. The Tigers just haven't scored yet. Ball one in the dirt. The 1-0 pitch, bunt for a base hit. Bruner fouls it straight back. Sun's still out casting long shadows right now. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Owen Anderson and left is in the shade. Head on the count, one and two. Pop up, catcher with an opportunity here. Off the mid of Alex Asmus. Was right underneath it and he got rid of the mask, just didn't, had the ball drop off his glove. So second opportunity here for Brunner. Probably have to rule out an error. In the, in the pros, they would rule out an error because they had an opportunity to get an out, even though it was a foul ball. A little ground ball down the third baseline. Ozzie will field it foul. Still one and two. Bruner at the plate, one, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Asmus will have to throw him out. So it'll be a K two to three. For the first out back to the top of the order. So two runs on seven hits given up by Alex Asmus. Trying to get his strikeouts. Struck out three, and he issued one walk and hit a batter. Pretty good outing. There's a strike to the leadoff hitter, Johnson. One out here in the seventh. Tigers trailing 2-0. Fastball, letter high, strike two. Pop up infield, Johnny Kleindl calls it, has it. Pop up to the first baseman for the second out. Left-handed hitter, Braden Vanderbeek, up. Popped up to short, grounded to short, grounded to second, 0 for three. Straight called, two outs here. Number two hitter in the order. Open stance. Strike two, outer half. Leisure waiting on deck, still has his catcher's pads on. Waste pitch high and away, one and two. 
Freshman game up top is 8-7 in the fourth. Morris, Irish, Kyle, Alberta, freshman on top. In the dirt. Two and two. Again, uh, Drew Hebner, I think, is still in, is out today with that. I looked at, they got his fingers in a splint on his left ring finger. I think he's going to be pitching, though, on Tuesday. Asmus now 3-2 after he comes high with a fastball. Count is full. Would like to get this man and not have to face leisure. Shakes off the, his brother, the catcher. Shakes him off again. Payoff pitch. Ball four. Tried a breaking ball. Walked him. Two down. Leisure up with a man on first. Two seven and one for Painesville. O oh, two and one for the Tigers. Painesville error was a tough play for the shortstop, but one of those that's hard to call either way. But he had a pretty good opportunity if he fields the ball. That was a ball hit earlier by Johnny Klein to beat it out. Then after he bobbled it. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Leisure missed it. Two for three for Leisure. Last time up, he squirted a ground ball over to the first baseman who flipped to Alex Asmus at the time pitching. 3-1 put out. And that off the glove. Pass ball. One and one. Now runner in scoring position for Painesville with two outs. Down low. Two and one. Two and one with two outs, the pitch. Three and one, curveball. On deck is a pitcher, Vanderbeek, who probably had the loudest hit today, a double to the 363 sign, his last at bat that ended up scoring later the second Painesville run. The three one pitch, strike two, throw to second. Not in time, right, good idea. Hallman covering. Three and two to Leisure. Two outs, man on second. We're in the seventh. Nobody on first, so you don't expect the runner to be stealing. Ball four. So after getting the first two and being ahead on the count, Riley's walk two. Now he'll have to face, he'll have to face a pitcher, Manderbeek, who's one for three at a double his last at bat. Sun's still over the armory. Shadows for most of the field. Still a little bit of sun here. See about pitchers mowing towards the first base dugout still in the sun. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down the middle, 0-1. Looking back at second, coming home. Another throw back, not in time, one and one. Tigers did have a pickoff of a Painesville runner at second from the pitcher earlier, it Was got him out of a middle, little mini jam. One and one, two outs, two on. The one, one pitch, curveball, way out in front was Vanderbeek. One and two now. One and two with two outs. Out of the stretch, 
Throw to second, not in time. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. So good inning overall for Riley. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Tigers need two to tie. See if we can get a rally here on the Morris area live stream. All right, this is it. Time for the Tigers to rally here. Owen Anderson and Vanderbeek is out there to try to finish this one off. They've had relief pitchers warming up the last two innings, so Painesville's ready in case Bryce Vanderbeek has some issues this inning. Ball low. Owen Anderson hit it hard both times, flew out to Medium deep left and then lined out to the right fielder last time up. So 0 for 2. There's a ball hit to the center fielder. He comes in and grabs it. Just to spray it off the, off the bat a little bit. Didn't catch all that one. So out number one goes Painesville's way. And this will bring up Alex Aspas. Struck out and popped up to the pitcher last time up. So 0 for 2. Ball one. Six strikeouts for Vanderbeek, who's trying to get a complete game here. He's given up just two hits, one Painesville air, and one walk. Actually, two walks. There's a line drive to the second baseman. Two hopper, throws to first, out number two. Well hit, but right at the second baseman for out number two. We'll leave it up to Johnny Klein to reach on an air last time up. Oh, Jack Kehoe has entered the game in place of Johnny, so it'll be Kehoe getting the at-bat. Sophomore had the win in last night's game against West Central on the mound. Jack played first base for that championship junior legion team. Now beat Montevideo on Granite Falls last late summer. There's a base hit. First pitch swinging. Kehoe lines a single to right. So the Tigers have the tying run at the plate in the, in the form of Landon Gibson now. Landon reached on a walk last time, grounded to short. So he's 0 for 1. Tigers, the man on first, two outs, trailing 2-0.
And the pitch. Ball up high. Again, Painesville's first game. Tigers one and two on the season. Ouch. Line drive and the pitcher knocks it down. That could have hurt somebody. And a complete game victory, but that one, ouch. Vanderbeek is okay because it hit mostly his glove. That was a hard hit ball, and that will end the game. So one to three, line drive that dropped out of the glove or off the glove. And Paines will win this one by a final of 2-0. 0-3-1 um, for the Tigers, 2-7-1 for Painesville. Vanderbeek, complete game win. Asmus gets the loss, going six. Riley Asmus through the seventh inning. Six strikeouts for the Painesville Bulldog pitcher as they shake hands. And again, thanks to the young Mr. Gosman, young Mr. Seahawk for helping in the live stream today. And uh, that's going to do it. Tiger baseball will be will be back Tuesday with the doubleheader from against Minnewaska. So stay tuned for that one. Have a good weekend, everybody. We're going to sign out.